I don't even know where to start. Um, any of you guys watched that live video yesterday? Uh, we were broke down in Cape May. We lost the harmonic balancer on the port engine. So this morning um, we're waiting for parts, uh, for, and then and then I got to make up a decision on our departure. If we take if we take the Delaware over to the C and D, and then over to the uh, uh, Chesapeake, adds about another day of travel. Um, uh, if we go, it's 136 miles to so just go straight into Norfolk, or we. Uh, we can go down the Delaware uh, over the C&D and then over to the um, uh, Norfolk going uh, that way, which right now the weather is looking like that's the way to do it. And also keeps the, the fuel from uh, shaking and keeps that uh, the bad stuff in the fuel down in the bottom of the tanks. This boat is stabilized. It's the first boat I've ever been on that's stabilized. So I'm not um, particularly scared. Um, scared because it, it does help a lot. It, it's, it's a huge difference uh, out there. So our new uh, piece showed up just now uh, and we're I think we're all excited to get this thing on there and get going again. Hopefully everything will be all right. A bunch of parts. But you can see right here this this is what broke right here. As you can see that that rubber ring around here and then uh, it came out. So anyway, this one should be good to go and uh, the boys are all changing their clothes and getting ready to uh, get in here and get the new one put on. Where the dowel is. All right. Brand new, okay. Now Perfect. the crank, if you notice, it doesn't have a mark on this hub. I mean, it does kind of, sort of, that right there what we did, it, the crank has a spot right here drilled in it. We'll get the light around here. That tells you where that, uh, which pin to line up. Okay. The, the deal with so this little, this little deal right here. Yeah, that pin on yeah. there. Mm -hmm. Yep. So we know that it has to line up. And then I verified it by looking at the back of this, and you can see where that, uh, drill mark okay is marked in the back of that hub so replacing the um and plus we remember we talked you talked to the detroit guy yep. and he said they're um these are all right hand thread on pulling yes, off on the, on the on the puller bolt, bolt yeah or yeah. the bolt that holds everything on yeah. he said either doesn't matter which rotation your 671 has they have the same crank crank yeah they even both. though your blowers are on the different side, your exhaust is on the different side, uh, which makes total sense. sense. Yeah, right. Uh, they build one motor and then they accessorize it for whatever the end product use is. So, yeah, right. But uh, here, I'll let you have that. Okay, we you. make darn sure we get it on the right direction. The you, you these get holes, yeah. Yeah, okay, that's that what... means it's balanced to this style crank. Okay. And if we got that 180 out, which is easy to do it won't it won't it last would on. vibrate like crazy at idle okay you know look at look at how deep those uh balancing holes are okay that's how much metal they took out to balance this thing okay okay perfect uh, that's also one of the reasons it makes it a bit pricey although we got this one for um like 430 bucks nice they're cheap you know it's not very is that it's not a Harley. No. And, uh, and it is a Detroit Allison part number. It is not yeah, this not, isn't a not Chinese, Chinese made, not right. uh, some knockoff from Timbuktu. You can accidentally get it crooked. Line that up. Where's my rubber hammer? Got your rubber hammer. And then I just tap that on there. Then we'll, we'll get the bolts. In there, get her torqued down. Do you do you want any Loctite or anything? Or just, uh, yeah, we'll Loctite all those bolts. Oh, nice. So now you just put the bolts back on. Yep. Mm -hmm. nice. Okay, so this is the pulley yeah. going on now, right? Yeah, uh, as soon as we get to where I can go, hand me that bolt. That's, but just think of the machining. This machining done pre-World War II wow, has yeah. been the same. And it's that just the testament of how, what a great motor these are. Well, I tell you, yeah, great motors, but the simpler the technology, they didn't make the the press fits too tight. Yeah, right. Uh, 
Uh, what we'll do is we'll snug this down, then we'll pull 